It is soccer night tonight in Huntington, West Virginia, as boy, oh boy, do we have a big time matchup between top three teams on tap for you in Huntington. It is number one, 7 0 and 0 Marshall, one of only two teams that are untied and yet to lose on the year, taking on 4 0 and 2 and third ranked UCF. Dive into it. He said, You don't hide from it, you dive into the emotion of the day and just kind of let it happen. And a great, a great weekend to do that with, too, especially with Virginia Tech coming in with football and a number one versus number three here in the soccer matchup. A great kind of atmosphere to build off of. It's showing that patience, that trust in that defense, trying to find those spots, and again, how quickly they can flip it to go to offense, which we saw here just a moment ago. Adam IMS down the near side for the herd. Plays the ball up ahead for Sordo under the box. Sordo has got the left foot, sends it play real quick Sordo getting the start tonight has that left foot and just a little bit wide as he had two teammates running there as well just about seven and a half minutes into the contest still scoreless here in Huntington Marshall has scored early in a lot of its contest there's Sordo top of the 18 right footed shot again as he got tripped up just inside the 18 high level Calabrese who has coached at East Tennessee State as Marshall turns it over to the Knights this time Dorado Plays the ball near side. UCF trying to go on the attack. Left-footed shot right into the midst of Gabe Perota. Presence on that back line for Marshall. Just physical, and he can really run, too, if he's challenged to do so. Iomesh plays the ball into the middle, looking for Simone. Simone settles off the chest. Right-footed shot, and then knocked down out of the air that time. Corner kick for the Knights from the far side. They scored on one of these against West Virginia. Ball sent in towards the 18, headed out of the air. That goes over the goal really no threat that time with with coach about that and he said that some players felt like maybe they wasn't at their mark when it wasn't their moment to go ball turned over still UCF with it Dorado now and Perota a beautiful save and then Perota dives back on top of it as you see Marshall with the turnover shot from AJ Seals and then Dorado just trying to get to that right foot one of seven players in UCF history to score more than 30 goals in his career Far side, Marshall, Pablo Simon. Simon crosses, looking near side. Adam Iomesh hits it into the goal. Right off the hands of Munoz and Iomesh. To deal with, but he was so patient, sprinting to the ball. Just a touch there off that left foot to get that curl that he needed in. If he goes right foot there, he probably kicks it to the goal. He stays with the left foot. It gives him that bend back to the left. Knocked away another attempt for UCF. Ball played up ahead for the Herd. A bouncing ball possessed by Simone, and he rules it just past the far post. They had him off sides as well. That step up real quick is actually pretty smart. As you see Simone, you got to think maybe his shot was affected just slightly yes. by the offside whistle as well. Yes, but with the fact that so many of these players on the pitch tonight are from the international ranks, They've played in front of large crowds and training at all times. Yeah, absolutely. It's marking him before he even got to that mark. Ball played up ahead as the herd finds Simone. Simone plays it back. Sordo catches up to it. Sordo had some opportunities early. Left-footed shot for Sordo. Bounces around. Rebound shot that time. Now UCF still possessing with it. Bella Trash or Bella Trash with it. Ball crossed. Perota diving out with the right foot. Ball bouncing around with Perota on the ground. And UCF picks it up. Now ball played into the middle and Bella Trash clears the net and clears the netting time UCF had the opportunity as ball was sent in towards the 18 Perota there you coming off the back line that was the first time Bamford really had let a player get behind him happily named Marco Silva for Marshall if you don't know that the Marshall mascot is also named Marco dribbles and the herd passes it off Sordo far side for Iomesh Iomesh steps back towards the 18 Sprinting, right-footed cross into the box, headed that time by Simone and out along the inlines. Toys with him yeah, too. He does. And, and what's interesting is you see that, and you almost think like, man, why are you doing that to us? A bouncing ball around. There's no keeper in the goal. Dorado is going to send it towards the net, and it goes across the inline. For kick for Marshall. Sends it in near the back post, headed out of the air by Fujita. Bouncing ball, and Munoz goes up and get it. Gets it. You know he has a ton of belief behind him right now. His favorite soccer team he lists on the UCF website. AFC Richmond, Ted Lasso fame. Left-footed shot by UCF. Perota knocks it away. 
everyone as they have the goalie that's going to do this this free kick on the far sideline and then probably push up with it. Munoz sends it in towards the 18. Perota is right there for Marshall. He'll catch it and fall, and that'll allow it about another probably 10 seconds to tick off as well. Zane Bubb is going to hide right behind Gabe Perota, though, to see if he can catch Perota to drop it, and he will, and Perota better hurry, and it's taken away by UCF, and the Knights are going to get the equalizer. UCF ties it up at one. AJ Seals scores the goal to tie it after Gabe Perota dropped it in front of him. Little cat and mouse game, and that time they got caught as Bub knocked it free. Perota was out of position and an easy goal there. As they're talking, and I don't, I think they're going to disallow the goal. The Marshall players are cheering, and the goal is going to be disallowed. And the thing they're saying is, is that the issue is that Bob was offsides in the process of when the possession re, was regained by UCF. So as you can see, I'm going to guess it's going to be an offside call of some sort right there at that moment when. The connection of the ball goes off the foot of Parada. That then should put the defender there off sides. 11 seconds left. Perota will send it up ahead, high into the air, as hand jostling continues up ahead in, in the contest. Ball sent towards the net. Perota will send it away with the right foot, and Marshall will pick up the win. A heavily disputed 1-0 win for Marshall.